Hey everybody, I was asked the other night, and I'm sorry for the delay, but Amberly asked me the other night how to make um, this, oops, this cute little apple thing. So what I've done is I've kind of already started it, but the first thing I did is I went to insert images. And I just searched for Apple. And I wanted one that had the stem and the leaf separate from the apple itself. So I scrolled through. Until I found this here. And this gives you already the base to start forming your letters. And then the stem and the leaf are separate. So I just clicked on it. Voila. And clicked on insert images. Okay. So that's on my mat already. And then I just started adding some names with different fonts. And you just... Um, you add your text... And you pick a name. I'll do Brian since he just came in and talked through my recording. And then you go over here to edit. And you pick a font that you um, want to use. So, we'll find a good one here. And I've just been randomly picking some. We'll give him Cake Basics. And we're going to size that one a little bit smaller because you want them a little bit different. And we're going to tilt it around. And then on the Layers tab, you can change the color by making it whatever color you want. <clears throat> Just by clicking on it and it will open up this window here. But I want to ungroup it. I want every individual um, letter to be separate. And for some reason, my computer keeps doing this where it appeared to ungroup it, but it didn't. And I know it didn't because it's all one thing here. I don't see all the other parts of the letters. So there we go. Now I have all my letters. Then I just take the B and put it up here and rotate it how I want it just along the edge and then take the R and it might be easier to do this all in capitals because now I'm going to have this gap here but you're getting an idea of how to do it and you do have to place every letter individually and then you just take this little rotate here or you can go over here on the edit tab and do it here. Um, it's easier to do it over here, I think. You take the A. And the N. And just place them in there how you want them. Then you're going to fill in all your other names and everything that you want. But you don't want the actual form. You just want the letters to be there. So then you click on your base here. And we're going to assume that I filled all these in with names already. Um, then you go to layers. And you'll see I've got my outline here selected. And you click on contour. So then I'm just going to click inside here and you'll see it turns that dark blue color and then you click off of it and it's gone. So it took that away and now you click off of it and then you click on here again. Now you're, you're going to see it's, it's little and you click on contour again and now we're going to click on the apple piece and then you click off of it and it's going to take that away. So it's kind of hard to see right now because I've only got the three names in there, but once you have filled it in with names, I'm going to undo real quick, all of this is going to be formed with your letters, and so it's going to have your apple shape. Okay? 
then because we took that away, we still have our, our stem and our leaf. So I can click on this and then um, find them in here. So they're still right here. <clears throat> you can uh, change their colors or whatever you want with them. But if you're going to want to cut them in different colors, but it's not letting me ungroup them because of how they were brought into the mat. So I'm going to show you how to separate them so that you can cut them in different colors. Um, we're going to add a shape. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it away from our apple base. Come on. My computer is just completely malfunctioning. Oh, here comes my dog. We're going to move it away from the base. And I'm going to um, add a square to our mat. And then I'm going to just kind of size this square to cover the stem. I don't want to get any of it on to the leaf, but I do want to cover the stem completely. Okay. So I'm going to not do that. I'm going to click up here. Well, I want to get, I'll we'll start at the bottom. So you click and you just encompass this. That didn't work. So get these two items. And you just click and hold your, your left mouse down while you cover it up. And my computer is not cooperating with me right now. Try it from this angle. The other way to do this, if my computer doesn't want to cooperate, is I'm going to click off, and I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to hold my control key down and click on the square. Now I have them both in there. Okay. Now you're going to see the slice option appeared. If you click on the slice, it's going to cut it away. It's going to make it just be a separate piece. So now I can move my leaf over here and I can make it green. Yeah, it's kind of a funny leafy green, but okay. And then I can take my stem and I can leave it as brown. So now we have two separate pieces. And then this we can just delete it. We're done with it. And then this one we're done with too. We can delete that. <coughs> you can delete. Okay. So this is our sliced image and we can change that color of brown to make it darker. There. Okay, so that's how you're going to have your apple. But you're going to want to fill that in with all your names first. And then you can put your names like um, that was down here <coughs> below it. And another thing to remember is each one of these colors is going to be a different mat. And unless you're drawing this with the pens, you're going to have a lot of mats. So the fewer the colors, the better because what you're going to want to do then is if I click go and I don't have a machine connected here but oh I forgot to tell you that if you want it to cut identical to what you have um, hit select all and you want to attach no that's going to make it all one color you guys, it's late. I'm sorry. So undo. Undo. Told you wrong. You're going to want to take your individual names. I don't have that in that way. So you have your B and your A. And again, I am just holding my control key down. 
and clicking on the I need a new computer, y'all. You can do it this way too if that's easier. Hold your control key and click on these ones over here. Over here. And it's gone. Not that way. Oh my goodness. I'm having the worst luck. Okay. I click on my B and it keeps taking me down. And then I hold my control key and I click on the A. And then I scroll up. And then I hold the control key and I click on the I. And it's scrolling up and I don't know what's wrong with my computer, but this is what it's doing. And then the L and the E. It's not getting there. It's, it's moving on me. So you just want to hold your control key down between each letter you select. There. So you can see here, they're all selected together. Then you can attach them. And so now when I hit go, they're going to cut identical to how I have them on the mat. So if you had multiple colors of the same, so pretend this and this were the same color, you would then select them as equally as you have this selected, like we just did where we selected each letter. You would also select these letters and you would attach them, so then when it cuts out your vinyl, it's going to keep them exactly that spaced and that distance apart so that you can then layer your vinyl. I hope that makes sense. And you're going to have a different mat for every color. Um, I don't know how much, I don't know what you know. So if that doesn't make any sense or you have any questions, let me know. But basically, you want anything, again, so let's say these are the same color. And we can make them the same color. Let's do that real quick for the purpose of this. We'll just move the N up here. And the A. It's not moving anything on the mat, it's just matching our colors so that the, the software knows to match these together. So, if I select, it's hard because they're twisted, but, um, okay. So if we went back over here and we selected every single letter like we just did and we held the control key down and we selected them individually, it would select these letters as well as these letters. Well, let's just do it. Why not? So that is an attached set already. So if I click on those, it's going to... They're already all attached. So now I need to find the Brian. And again, I'm going to hold my control key down because I have this. And I'm going to click on the N. And the A. And the I. And the R. And the B. And it didn't. It's not selecting them all, and I'm holding my control key down, but I don't know. And I. And you can see it because it turns a gray. Come on. And the N. And the N. Come on. No. Oh, well, I don't know what it's doing. It when it opens that little window, I lose my I and R. Come on. And the B. Okay, so I have my Brian selected. I'll go back up here to my attach set. You know, I'm going to attach those so that they're together. Just for the ease of this. 
And then I have those already, and I'm going to hold my control down, and I'm going to click on this attached set. And now this one. So now they're both together. And I'm going to click Attach. So now when I say go, yay, I finally got it to work. There it is. So now when you lay your, um, your apple out, when you have them all in there, you're going to get that apple form. So I'm sorry if that was confusing. My computer is, I don't know, not cooperating very well. But that's it. That's how you make that form. And if you have any questions, I'm always on the group. Or you can put a comment below this video on YouTube or private message me. I'm always around somewhere. Um, hope you have a great night. And thanks for watching.